Anton! Anton! <coughs> where is Cisco? There is a new senorita in town. Where would it be, Pancho? But where are they? By a garden wall, two streets down. But maybe he cut your ears off if you bother him. <laughs> Not this time. Adios. Adios. Amor con inmenso dolor, me despido de ti. Pero no para siempre. Amor, yo quisiera saber de tus labios oír tu lealtad para siempre. Vivir con la dulce ilusión de volver otra vez a tener Cisco, please. Why you interrupt me at a moment like this? Go away, go away. But I cannot go away. It is important. It can wait. No, but it cannot wait, Cisco. I have a letter from Valle Grande for you. It is from your friend, Senor Esteban Urbina. A letter from Esteban Urbina? What is it? Oh, here. And the man who gave it to me, he say that Senor Urbina is in a big trouble. Oh, poor Esteban. He's in a big trouble. Just listen to this. Dear Cisco, when you were a little boy on our hacienda, you told us that if we ever needed you, you would return to help us. Many times you have repaid the little kindness we showed you as a child. But once again, we need your help. Sanchez, apoderado in charge of the neighboring Arango Rancho, has accused us of stealing his cattle and is making threats against our very lives. And so you see me, amigo, it is imperative that you come at once in haste to rescue me. Though even as you read this, it may be too late to prevent the death of my dear wife or my adored boy child or myself at the hand of this ruthless Sanchez, Esteban Urbina. Sanchez? I hear of him. It looks bad for Senor Urbina. Not if the time and the Blessed Virgin are with us. Perdóneme, senorita. I did not see your face today. But there is always another day. Vámonos. You know, Pancho, the last time I see this country, it was through a little boy. I was just ten. No, Cisco, you were just nine, for I was with you at that time. In those days, you could hide behind tumbleweeds and make food. You follow me. Vámonos. Bueno. The sooner you are done with me, the sooner I will be done with you. You dare strike me when my hands are bound. It's indeed a compliment, senor. Silencio. Prepare the rifles. We'll give you one last chance, Manuel Gonzalez. Where you hide the gun? Tell him to shoot. Appoint them.
<laughs> it was a very close thing for you, no? Very close. Maybe you need a little tequila, no? <laughs> no, gracias. Good. <laughs> I'm indeed grateful to you, senor, for saving my life. Who have I the honor of thanking? I'm Cisco. Oh, Cisco. I should have known. Who else but Cisco would risk his life so readily to save a stranger? I'm Manuel Gonzalez. I'm very lucky to meet you. Gracias. Will you sit down? But, senor Gonzalez, who do you think it is in the back of this? That curse apoderado of Valle Grande. Sanchez? Si, Cisco. Even now, at this moment, I am on my way to help Esteban Urbina, my beloved friend. He too is threatened by this same Sanchez pig. You are too late to help Esteban Urbina, mi amigo. Last night we heard that he and his family were destroyed and Padre Fortunio sent word from Valle Grande. He saw them dead with his own eyes. You will pay dearly for this, Sanchez. You mean you might consent to be our leader, Cisco? If the men will help me, I will consider it an honor. Thank you, Cisco. Thank you. We must work fast. How soon can you and your men meet me at the Diablo Pass? By sundown. Bueno, come. Pick one of the Caporales horses. This one looks strong and fast. Manuel, until sundown. Hacienda, Sebastián, we cannot leave Manuel like this. No, senorita, no. Your brother made me promise him that I'd take you across the border. Even now he is risking his life to cover our escape. But they might kill him. If we go back, they will kill us too. We must go on. We dare not stop until we reach Valle Grande. Caporales. Hide, senorita. You let Sebastián talk and all will be well. Where you go, hombre? By a grande, senor. And why? Luis, the owner of the Posada, he's my brother. I go to him. Maybe you told the truth, but I don't believe you. I have to speak in you still. My daughter, senor, the little one, she's afraid. She see all these men and she hide. She go to work at the posada. Oh, maybe the beautiful senorita, she sing and dance for entertain, no? <laughs> sing, she sing just like a little bird. Oh, that is good, that is good. Senor Sanchez, the apoderado of this district, he love the beautiful senorita that sing like a bird. And I think he will be very pleased if I bring him you. But, senor, I... Oh, you will sing for the apoderado tonight. And me, Torres, and my man, we will escort you personnel to the Posado. Let us go, hombre. I were a little lower, I would sing to you all night. 
could tell you of my love, dear, and how sweet it is to kiss, dear, and how grand it is to hug, dear, by the moonlight or through the night, by the moonlight under the stars. Then we will go, go, go. Chata. You like my little song, no? Oh, that was very good. <laughs> Pepita is always very good. Yes, I know. That is why I... Um... Hey, what you got there, eh? Oh, some things. Oh, I know what it is. It's for me. Give it to me. Come on. <laughs> oh, you can leave it. And they're beautiful. I wonder... Hey. Where were you these last few days? Oh, I have been very busy. I have a lot to do. I do not play all the time. Hmm. I hope you tell the truth, you know, because I am very jealous. Hey! <laughs> Sebastian, but what are I you doing with my that? daughter? Help her down. Oh, well, I know. Uh, you're surprised, eh? Oh, well, bueno, hermano, well, bueno. Come, senorita. Let us go inside. Bueno, senor. Come on. <laughs> senor Sanchez, I find for you a new singer for the Pesado. Welcome to Valle Grande, senorita. This is Ramon. She's the daughter of my brother, Sebastian. Ah, I tell the senorita how much you like the beautiful singer, and she says she would love to sing for you. <laughs> bueno, Torres. I shall not forget your promotion. Gracias, señor. And Luis, I wish this new girl to sing for me tonight. And uh, tell Mama Maria to give her the most beautiful dress you have to wear, understand? Sí, señor Sanchez. Bueno. Very well, Torres. Gracias, señor. Hmm. I bet she cannot sing. Oh, we shall find out, um, but <laughs> she is very beautiful. I don't think so. She's too tall. <laughs> Senorita! Ah, Mama Maria, it is so good to be again with friends. But what has happened? What brings you here? So? Sanchez accuses her brother Manuel of stealing cattle. He sent his caporales to attack him. They steal everything. If only Cisco had been there. Ah, the Cisco will hear much of him. For him, I would sing, but for that one, never. Senorita, it's not for me alone that we beg you to sing for him. It is for Luis and Mama Maria. Just think what he would do to them. That is true. You can give me the address, Mama Maria. Gracias, Senorita. Gracias. Ah, qué bien, Senorita. Boy, what are you doing here? Go and change your dress. You must sing more songs. Go out. All right, Mama Maria. Don't Let's be in a hurry. Hurry. So, amigos, as I have said from the beginning, this is not the time for the speech making. This is the time for quick thinking and resolute action. In the meanwhile, we have to send the messenger for the rurales. Who will be the volunteer? I will, and I will not fail you. Bueno, Garcia. Vaya con Dios. Hasta la vista. And now, amigos, it is time that we rest. At the daybreak, we must ride to Valle Grande against the Sanchez, eh? Good! Yeah. Well, yeah, I told you we got a good leader. Bueno. Señores, Señorita Dolores will now sing for you. Señorita Dolores, ¿qué canción la acompañamos? Te perdí. Te perdí, muchachos. Te perdí cuando más te quería Si todas mis caricias, suspiros y besos 
besos fueron para ti Me iré con el recuerdo De mis grandes promesas De tus crueles mentiras Que siempre escuché Ya me voy Trataré de olvidarte, no quiero ni encontrarte, ni verte junto a mí. Mataste mi cariño y mi alma destrozaste, me voy para olvidarte, me voy sin ti. make me very happy and uh, join me. I would join you with pleasure, senor, but tonight, if you don't mind, I'm a little tired from my long trip. Oh, of course, forgive me. I should have thought of that. Anyhow, we will have uh, plenty of times together, no? Of course. When there's no trip. When there's no trip. Luis. Si, senor Cuadrado. I will be here tomorrow night. If I do not find this girl Dolores here, it will be very bad for you and for Mama Maria. Understand? Sí, señor Poderado. She will be right here. What? taking some traveler. Now, we will strike the first blow. Garcia, this dead man look like an important person. You know who he is? No, I never seen him. Maybe these papers will tell you. Maybe. Does it mean very much? Mean very much? <laughs> this man was a new apoderado on his way to the Valle Grande. He was sent by Don Francisco from Mexico City to inspect the district. Hey, these are his orders. Hey, he even had the power to dismiss Sanchez. But why did Sanchez Caporales kill him? Because Sanchez did not want his employer to know what he was doing. You know, I have the suspicion this Sanchez is getting ready to escape across the board. Pues andale. Hey, Manuel. This is coffee. Did many escape? Not one. They're all dead on the road. Good work, amigo. I have the good thought. They look like they could fit me. Pancho, take the good apoderado's clothes off. But if I steal from him, his spirit will haunt me. Poor Zandale, take the clothes off. And uh, also, you take the clothes off from the driver for yourself. This I will not do, Cisco. It's even worse luck than cross-eyed cat. That man's clothes... No, Cisco, no, I refuse. At least you'll take his sombrero to prove that you're a caporal. Pues andale. Sombrero? Bueno. Manuel. Si. Sí. It is plain Sanchez was expecting the new apoderado, and he has arranged so he does not arrive. Si, sí, it was caporales who shoot him. I will take the new apoderado's place. Pancho and I will go in alone. It means much danger. For Sanchez, yes. 
You and the men, you will hide near the town. If we need help before the rurales arrive, we will signal you. Cada vez que yo me encuentro mi moreno Cada vez me rete cuadra mucho más Está muy piocha y rete bueno mi moreno Y aparece que nos vamos a casar Si pudiera yo saber que yo le cuadro Muy juntitos nos iríamos a su rancho Que me esperan muchas flores y también los ruiseñores Mi moreno Y muy juntitos gozaremos nuestro amor Cada vez que yo me encuentro esa morena Si se baila en camino Cada vez me rete cuadra mucho más Esta tapioche y rete buena mi morena Ya parece que nos vamos a casar Si supiera yo también que a ella le gustó Muy contentos nos iremos a mi rancho Que me esperan muchas flores y también los ruiseñores Mi morena Y muy juntitos gozaremos del amor Perhaps I see it too many times. Ah, oh, maybe I can sing some more for you, eh? No, not now. Besides, I am expect company. Company? Oh, I think I know what company you are expecting. But you will be sorry for this. Torres. <laughs> 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 Por favor. I wait for you, señorita, to sit with me. Gracias. Some wine, señorita? Gracias, but no wine. It's bad for the singing. Hmm. Yes, senor, but no wine. It is bad for the singing. Maybe that is what is the matter with yours. Excuse me. Wine, little one, puts fire into the veins. It warms to the fingertips. <laughs> you are quivering like a butterfly. It's, it's nothing. It's the cold of the night. Why are you afraid? Sanchez does no harm to those who favor him. Sit down, foolish one. I like you this way. It makes it more interesting. Señor Sanchez, the new apoderado of Mexico City, Señor Dominguez, is here. He is here? Si, sí, Señor, he's outside. Muchachos, arise, y vengan aquí. Line up, be ready to salute the new apoderado. We salute you, Señor Apoderado. And who is in charge here? Apoderado Sanchez at your command. Indeed. So you are that most efficient apoderado of this district, eh? Oh, si, senor Dominguez. Then why was I attacked in the hills? All my escorts slain, but this one? I myself barely escaped. I'm surprised to see you. I am most embarrassed, senor. You know how close it was? And in your district, apoderado. Who would dare to do this thing? Well, perhaps it is that hombre Cisco. Cisco. There are rumors that they appear again and he right his way, senor. Right this way, eh? Hey, why do you get so excited? This ruffian Cisco, do you fear him? Fear Cisco? Oh, no, Senor Dominguez. He know very well what Sanchez do to him, and he dare not to face me. Ah, that is very strong talk, Senor. Pancho, see to our horses. Is there no wine? Dolores, why you stand there? Some wine for us. Ah, Dolores. That is a pretty name for a pretty girl. <laughs> you and Sanchez don't cross a law in front of Senor Dominguez, no? 
Hey, apoderado, why are you so harsh with that pretty senorita? She is new here, senor. She does not understand our ways. Ah, but I have just the girl for you. The beat is her name. Such beauty, such fire. You will like Pepita. She is lovely, no? See? But I think so, I better like to choose my own company. That is, if you do not mind. Bueno, senor. Hey, why you tremble so? I think, senor Apoderado, he has been too harsh with you. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, do not be afraid. Well done, senores. Senor, the messenger have arrived and he says it's very important to you. But I... Uh, do not mind us. Business comes first. We wait for you. I will be for the moment, senor. Take your time. Oh, it's a very long moment. But, senor, I have work to do. I like it better that we talk. Then in a moment, this man Cisco is on us. He showed no mercy, and now he is coming to the Valle Grande with many rancheros. Senor Dominguez must be informed of this. Donetti, you wait here. Sí. But I will see you again. Gracias. Oh, senor, senor. Well, at the Hacienda Gonzalez, my men find many stolen cattle. They are about to shoot Manuel Gonzalez, who resisted. Suddenly from the hills sweeps down this man Cisco with a big body of men. Killing many caporales, they rescue Manuel Gonzalez. And now this man, Cisco, is on his way here with many rancheros. The man who tell me this is here. That sounds most interesting. Tolete, ven aquí. But this is... This is Apoderado Dominguez, Donete, tell him. Well, my brave one, let me hear your story. Do not be afraid, speak, unless you speak unwisely. As I have told Senor Sanchez, we were attacked by Cisco at the Rancho Gonzalez. He, he rescued Manuel Gonzalez and we were about to shoot him. And he killed all our men but me. This Cisco, you have seen him? Si, sí, Senor. Can you tell me what he looked like? Describe him to me. Is he tall? No, no, senor. He is short. Uh, he has the mustache. Uh, no, no, senor. Plant face. <laughs> it is very strange. I always hear this Cisco. He has a little mustache. Just like me. Are you sure? Uh, very, very sure, Patron. Very sure. Then if you see him again, you'll know him, eh? But of course, senor. That makes you the most valuable man. But you must be very careful not to identify the wrong man, eh? Now you can go. If you cannot guard better against this Cisco, this Posada, she's no safe place for me. Again, I am most embarrassed. I will not stay here. Find me another place. You shall stay at my place, senor. I'm at Irvino Hacienda. There you will not be disturbed and you will be most safe. Pues, waste no time, señor apoderado. Let us go. Torre. Si, sí. take señor Domingo's bag. Si, sí, señor. Luis. Si, sí, señor. Send the entertainers and the musicians to the Urbina Hacienda at once. Si, sí, señor. Are you ready, señor? Si. Sí. Put the baggage there, Torres. And some wine for señor Domingo. Si, sí, señor. You like this? See, si. a room like this, she brings back many fine memories. Ah, in the bed, Senor Dominguez. When you lie in this, you think you are floating on the cloud. I will arrange entertainment and music for you. Uh, Perdón, me. Just a little start, senor. Not a bad start at all. Gracias. Sí, senor. Uh, 
I'm sorry, Pancho. There is only one glass. Oh, that's all right. You know, Pancho, it is a very funny thing. But for the wine, you are always ready. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. You want to know something very funny, Cisco? No. What is it? I don't feel a little bit hungry. It is easy to understand. Hey, the entertainers, they should be here already. I wonder if that time is right. Mm. Here. The clock is right. Hey, where did you get that watch? I pick it up from the ground. You steal it. I see it drop it. Then why do you not call after the man who dropped it? I couldn't, my friend. He walked too fast. Let me have that watch. Yeah, there is a name engraved on it. And the name is Miguel Sanchez. You steal this watch from Sanchez. I take it from a thief. He gave me bad example. Pancho, how many times I tell you, to steal is bad luck. I tell you the same about the dead man's clothes. It is the same about your hat. My hat. Oh, 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 my hat. Why you make me remember that? Oh, my hat. Bad luck. Hey, Sanchez. Put that watch where it belongs. Yeah. I think I simply do not understand. You might really swear here. Really, my oh. own. something. Ah, you rest, Senor Dominguez. That is good. We bring you wine from the Urbina cellar. Some of the best wine in the land. You shall see. The music and the entertainment, they come pretty soon. Senor, your hospitality, she overwhelms me. I'll bring back a good report of you. Oh, I have hopes that you will. Salud. Salud. What you do there, Pepita? Yes, what are you doing in here? You must be at the hacienda. Go. I go when I am ready. And I think from now on it will be Pepita who gives the order around here. You see, I heard what you say, this Dolores. She's no entertainer. She is Dolores Gonzalez. Perhaps the sister of Manuel Gonzalez? Eh? Quiet, Pepita. Quiet. <laughs> you are right to be afraid. You know what the penalty is? Shooting. You will not dare tell them. No, get out of my way. Get out of Sit down there. Stay there, sabes? There's no time to waste, Mama Maria. Dolores must leave tonight. I've got to Hacienda for her. Here's the key. You lock the door. Keep the pita here. <laughs> Torres, Senor Dominguez's glass is empty. Si, senor. That is true, but the senor is not. <laughs> but tonight he is for pleasure.
right, senor. Senorita, will you be seated? Tú que iluminas el silencio de la noche. Dicen que mi amor... Buen señorita. Sí, I like to give a toast. Dime si es cierto para ponerme To a most wonderful man. Valle Grande, welcome, poderado. To so noble señorita who makes me welcome to Valle Grande. Now, amigo, I enjoy this wine woman and song you arrange for me. Oh, it is nothing, senor. Ah, my so modest Sanchez, you and your brave caporales have done many things which shall not go unrewarded, I promise. Gracias. Uh, you are most generous. See, si, because tonight I am happy. I want for everyone to be happy. Hey, that is a good idea. You brave men, they need wine. Go see they have wine. Senor Dominguez, it is most irregular. Oh, oh, I take the responsibility myself. Go on. See, they have much wine. Go, fill it up. Take a long time. I don't need you here. But, but the women, they cause you always trouble for you. And you are still wearing the dead man's clothes. Go away, go away. Goodbye, go away. This Sanchez is very hard to get rid of. But now that we are alone, we can talk of more pleasant, beautiful things, like yourself. <laughs> I think you're at heart a caballero, not severe apoderado. And you, Dolores, who are you? Me, senor? Me? I sing for my living. You would like me to sing for you? Si, I would like it very much. Adios, amor, por favor, eh? Si, señorita. Senorita, of all the songs there are, you pick the most favorite song that I have. I like it too. Thank you. That is all, amigos. It is very good. Gracias. Senorita, please. Senor Dominguez, he not only is a caballero, but sing that song very well. Ah, you are very kind. I know I cannot sing the song as well as you, but you say that to make me feel good, and I like that very much. Senorita, perhaps there is some favor I can do for you, eh? If you only would, senor. Speak up, chiquita. I have relatives across the border. I do not see them for a long time. I would like to go to them. Why not? Senor Sanchez, he won't permit me. Well, perhaps the senor Sanchez, he has good reason to keep you here. But he will do what I say. For that, senor, I shall be very grateful all my life. And I shall be ungrateful to myself all my life. Why, senor? For sending a pretty senorita like you so far away. 
The patron, patron. What is it? Hey, what is the matter? Uh, uh, Speak, hombre, what is it? I am sorry, patron, but Senor Luis, the owner of the posada, has come to take the senorita home. Would you permit that I go? Of course. Time flies fast with you, Dolores. You may pack your things in confidence, senorita. But I do not understand myself. How could I be so foolish to let you escape? But thank you, senor. No, the case, senorita. Again you do it. Why do you interrupt me? Why don't you put something in this empty, empty thing of yours that you carry like a hat rack? Ah, this is the last time. Go. Bueno. No, 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 bueno, no, Cisco, Cisco. Pepita. Ha, you didn't think an old woman in a locked door could keep Pepita away, did you? <laughs> Wait till I tell the new apoderado. And you, you thought you could make everybody believe you're a cantina girl. But Pepita knows better. He will not believe you. He will believe this. Give it to no, me. Give it to her, Pepita. Give it to her, Pepita. Give it to her, Pepita. Now, what is, hap what is happening here? Please, Cisco, you cannot send me away. <laughs> you don't mean that. We had been together for so many years, and now I couldn't be alone for the rest of my life. And besides that, that my poor little horse that had been like brothers with your horse, he couldn't be alone either. How, how, how I'm going to tell him that, that he's going to be alone for the rest of his life. Please, Cisco, answer me, will you? Please, answer me. Pancho, Pancho, you are breaking my heart. Yes. Here, have this glass of wine. In fact, the whole bottle too. Oh, oh, bueno. <laughs> Hey, why don't you knock on the door? Perdóneme, señor. Go ahead. Let him hear what you have to say. You've been tricked. She's not the daughter of Sebastián. She's Dolores González, the sister of Manuel González. The one Sanchez condemned to death for stealing the cattle. This girl is jealous. No, and she no, lies. No, Quiet. No, 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 no. Go on, tell him. Trata la boca. I got proofs. Here, I found this in her bundles. There's her name in the back. Dolores González. It is true. She speaks the truth. Well, senorita, what have you to say? She's right. I am Dolores Gonzalez, and I was trying to escape across the border. Do what you want with me. But don't harm Luis and Mama Maria. They had nothing to do with this. They have given you shelter. And as you are implicated with your brother, you are a fugitive from the justice. It is the law that Luis and Mama Maria be punished. Right, apoderado? That is right, senor Dominguez. The law. What do you know of law? You steal, you murder, you talk of the law. But it will not always be so. One day, Cisco will strike, and then it will be your turn to tremble. I will deal with her at once. Here, you come with me. Sanchez, stop. You forget, I am in command here. Si, senor. Pancho. Patron. Take this senorita out to a nice, safe place, and shoot her. Hmm? Do it yourself. Senor. Do you think it wise to kill one so beautiful, eh? I have given the order. Pancho, listen. You will take her and leave her body where this so brave Cisco and his renegade rancheros can find it. That will show them that we mean business. Si, patron. It will be as you say. I regret I'm in a position, senorita, where this is necessary. I'd rather be found dead by Cisco than remain alive with you. Was Andale? Don't waste my time. Vamos. Torres. Si, senor. Place this man under arrest. Si. Sanchez, this wine you just served to me right now, it is very good. But go to the wine cellar and see if you can find something very special for this very clever Pepita, eh? <laughs> it will be a great pleasure, senor. I uh, will uh, bring it myself, eh? Uh, you like me a little, eh? See, I like to talk to you, where it is quiet, and where we are not disturbed. Will you 
please be seated, senorita. This is a very big favor you do for me when you catch this girl. I do not like to see the senor tricked by this silly Dolores, who thinks like a, like a lost calf and pretends to be what she is not. But she do not fool you. <laughs> you are a very smart one, I think. <laughs> Thank you, senor. I think I'm very smart, too. Also, I can sing and dance very good. You want me to show you? Oh, not now. You please me very much, but later. <laughs> I'm thinking you are smart enough to tell me something I want to know. About which? Sanchez. Sanchez? Ah, oh, that's a stupid animal. Then you'll tell me. <laughs> Maybe. But I only have one neck. I cannot grow another one. Explain, Pepita. Well, when he finds out that I have talked, and after you are gone... <laughs> if what I think it is true, it is Senor Sanchez who is gone. Gone? Where? Pepita, in the patio there is a good wall. Thieves. I shoot. I'm afraid this Sanchez is not quite honest. Not quite honest? He's so crooked. I think when he's asleep, he steals from himself just to keep in practice. And what are those things? Well, very many. Like uh, the Gonzalez Rancho, 5,000 cattle. Are you sure? Why, sure. I have been counted. <laughs> I am very good with numbers. <laughs> And my eyes are very quick. And very beautiful, senorita. <laughs> and these cattle, what does he do with them? Uh, he sells it across the river. And the money from it? Well, he has a chest full of gold in the, in the hacienda. And uh, only he and Torres knows what it is. I've been looking for it, but caramba, this is one thing I cannot find. <laughs> ah, senorita. This talk, she's very valuable for me. <laughs> but it is enough for now. Oh, uh, you want me to go? <laughs> you do not like me? See, si. I'm very pleased with you. But tomorrow we'll talk again. <laughs> and then we have the time. <laughs> Maybe we have some more wine, too. Oh, and I can dance and sing for you, no? But see, si. But now, it is time may be that Sanchez, he answers some of my questions. He will lie. I know. But he, too, cannot grow another neck. <laughs> I have a very big laugh when he loses the one he has. <laughs> and he should be the guest of honor. <laughs> I think I'm going to have lots of fun, no? <laughs> Buenas noches. Buenas noches, señor Dominguez. Hasta mañana. Hasta mañana, señorita. I have found something really fine. Brandy. Oldest in Mexico. For you and the señorita. <laughs> the señorita don't drink brandy that you find. Forget the drinking. Let us think of business. Sit down, sit down. Tonight, it is too late to go over all the accounts. We do that the first thing in the morning. But there are two or three things I want to know at this time. How many head of Gonzales cattle did you sell across the river? Maybe 1,000. Maybe 1,000? Or maybe more, eh? Not more than 1,000, I am sure. Perhaps a little less. How is it that you do not know the number? I did not have time to count them, but my men, they will know. You did not count them, and you guess it was 1,000. Well, Pepita, she say there were 5,000 because she helped you count it. Ah, what does a woman know? How to count? No, Sanchez, I'm not pleased with your answer. I think you are up to some crooked business. Senor, what? Sit down. Tomorrow I will find all about him. But perhaps some little arrangement could be made. After all, you know, I am not an unreasonable man. Oh, I am sure that you are not, Senor. That is all for tonight. Buenas noches, Senor. Good night. In the morning, the first thing. Is much more than he should know. Mm, maybe, maybe we can offer him much gold to keep it. good, but why? No, things is finished here. Dig up the gold in the hacienda yard. Collect the men. 
Load the wagons and pack the horses. We ride the night. What about Pepita? Lock her up with Luis. I will attend to all of them when I come to the Posada. As for me, I have one more thing to do. Si, sí, senor. with the old ones, but not for long. For all of you will soon find out what Sanchez do to those who trick him. I will go to the new apoderado, Senor Dominguez, and he will have you and Sanchez shot. You and Senor Dominguez are going to the same place, but I think the shooting will be on the other foot. Senor. Uh, uh, uh. Take it easy. You know, you spoiled two or three very nice blankets. Now we go in the other room. Who's going? Senor, I had intended to be partners with you, but now you spoil everything. Even the good blankets on the bed. I can explain, Senor. Then explain I... those bullets you shoot. Well, I. That is, I. I, I thought that. Uh -huh. The words, they are very hard to find, eh? I told you, I'm a reasonable man. But I do not like being killed in my sleep. Not even when it is not really me. So, Sanchez, you must die. I have much gold, senor. And look. They are Villa jewels. They are for you. These are very fine. But the Orbinas, they may come back to claim them. Not unless they come from the dead. Are you sure? I shoot them myself here in this very room, and there is no one to tell the story. You know, Sanchez, you are a very smart man. It is too bad I cannot trust you. It is also too bad you must die so young. Would you like to be shot? In the head, it is Wait. weak. Wait, senor. I can make you a very rich man. There are other ranchos, many cattle, and much gold. Please, please give me this chance. It is foolish. But I do give you this one chance. Gracias, senor. Muchas gracias. Clear the desk. Hurry, hurry. Si, sí, senor. Sit down. Take the pen and the paper and write the confession. One paper is not enough. Take two or three, maybe. For what you have to write, it will take more than one paper. Now that I have this signed confession, maybe you are not so careless with your gun. But, Patron, it was... Silencio! Write. I, Miguel Sanchez, confess and sweat. You are nervous? You break the pen. There is another pen in the drawer, senor. Get it, and we'll continue. Si. Let me see. Right. I, Miguel Sanchez, confess and swear that of my own free will and without any force, While I was apoderado for Senor Francisco Araño, I have misused my power in these ways. To 
try to shoot Cisco on the back once, it is foolish. But two times, that is the suicide. Mucho gusto. Muchas gracias. We ride all night. I'm sorry we're a little bit late, but I see you have done pretty well by yourself. See, si, mi sargento. Our duty is done and your headache begins. These men are all yours. Muchas gracias. I will know what to do with them. Desmonte, muchacho. Señor. And now I hope the people of the district will be safe and happy too. Gracias, amigo. have done no harm. Spare us, Senor Dominguez. No, Dominguez. These clothes, I only use them to make the masquerade. I'm Cisco. Cisco? Cisco! Cisco, mama! Cisco! See, and you are all quite safe. The rurales are here now, and they will take charge of everything. But the little Juan Dolores. She's safe, too. I go now to send her here. Cisco! <clears throat> I think I'll go with you. I'm sorry, Pepita, but no. Pancho and I, we always ride alone. Pues, adiós, my good people. Adiós. Adiós, Cisco, adiós. Adiós. Oh, señorita. All this I deeply regret. I fear Pancho has been most clumsy. A million pardones. I think I will let someone else do the untie. Cisco, my sister Dolores. Inside. But you better make sure she knows who you are before you untie her other foot. And also, you will wait until me, uh, I'm on my horse, eh? Dolores, mi hermana, you are safe. And then? And then, we go to Paral. Or stop my serenade to that so fair lady. I still have not seen her face, and I'm very curious about this. It's long ride. It's too late to start now. So, you have done it again. Oh, oh Cisco, but uh, Senor Sanchez doesn't need the watch now. And I was so glad to hear you are. Did you shoot him? Oh. I played a Dominguez. He just left. Dominguez? That was Cisco. Cisco? And I kick him. <laughs> you... <laughs> 